Well, hello there. Today, we're gonna to talk about purchasing bees. There are really only three situations in which you're gonna be purchasing new bees. The first would be if you're a first-time beekeeper and just getting started into the industry. The second would be if perhaps you had lost your bees due to a thing like floods or bears. And the last would be if you were interested in bringing in new genetics into your apiary. In all other cases, you should be able to recover from losses and expand your apiary through splits, which we'll cover a little later. If you need to purchase bees, you have two main options, nukes and packages. Here is a typical package. The bees arrive in a ventilated box. A package will have workers that are loose in the box, a container of feed, and a queen in a cage. A nuke is short for hive nucleus. It is smaller than a full hive, but contains all the components of a fully functioning hive. Here's a typical box that a nuke will come in. It will have a laying queen, brood of various ages, food, and workers. Each package or nuke will fill their own hive. You'll buy one package or nuke for each hive that you want to have. We always recommend that people start off with two or three hives their first year. No more and no less. Don't think that you're gonna save money or time with one hive because they can be used to support each other. Conversely, don't think that you can start off with 10 hives. Get two or three. Both packages and nukes work well for establishing new colonies. Some people prefer packages because they're more consistent and because you're importing less material from other hives into your apiary. Nukes, however, have two distinct advantages. First, they can be easily purchased locally from someone in your local bee club. And the second is unique to northern beekeepers. If you're starting a brand new colony early in the season in a cold climate on new frames that don't have any comb, the bees will not have anywhere to cluster and they'll be far away from their food. If you have a period of sustained cold after the bees are installed, they can starve or freeze. The already drawn frames in a nuke will provide the bees a place to cluster if the weather turns cold and the food will be right by the cluster on the frames. If you're starting a hive from new and installing in cold weather, a nuke may be the best choice. If you already have drawn comb or frames of food, a package will do just fine. If you can purchase a nuke locally, that's oftentimes your best option. However, there is a big demand on locally produced nukes, so they may not always be available. An important part of being part of a local beekeeping community is producing bees. As a new beekeeper, you'll want to learn how to produce nukes early on so that you can help provide bees to your local community and mitigate the need to import bees into your area. The most important part about purchasing a package or a nuke is to know what you're purchasing. You'll need to know the cost of the package or nuke, the size, and the age and status of the queen. Most packages are sold as either two or three pound packages. Most nukes are sold as five frame nukes, meaning that they have three frames of brood, a frame of food, and a fifth frame that is mixed or allows for growth. And all five frames are covered with bees. Your nuke or package should come with a young mated queen. Some beekeepers worry a lot about the genetics of their queens. In the United States, we have one species of honeybee, Apis mellifera. Within that species, we have several different races or strains of honeybees. Now from bee to bee, there's a lot of different variation. But as a beginning beekeeper, you really shouldn't be worried about that just now. Here's why. First, a lot of genetic variation is nuanced. It has to do with how quickly they build in the spring or shut down production in the winter. What won't be nuanced is how you care for your bees as a beginner. Your management will far outweigh any differences you would see by selecting the perfect queen. Any queen that is young, healthy, and well-bred will be fine for getting you started. Secondly, we really don't have pure strains in the United States anyways, unless the person's part of a specialty breeding program. So it's hard to confirm genetics of what you're getting. Finally, and most importantly, you don't know what you need. None of the strains are from the United States, so nothing's gonna be perfectly adapted for your region anyways. Over time though, you're gonna to learn to evaluate and select queens that are doing the best for you. And this can help build an apiary of queens that do well in your area, regardless of the genetics of the queens that got you started. Remember, queens are either replaced by you or the colony 
pretty much yearly. Whatever you choose or wherever she's from is really not a permanent decision. If you're just getting started in beekeeping, it's usually best to connect with others through your local bee clubs. The Michigan Beekeepers Association has a list of local clubs on their website. Your local club may have members who sell nukes locally, or they may organize a group purchase. This purchase is likely going to give you a discount, and they're going to help coordinate logistics. Always remember that honeybees are animals, and beekeeping is a part of agriculture. Beekeeping, like all of agriculture, is completely dependent on the whims of Mother Nature. Your bees might arrive on the exact date, a week early, a week late, or in the case of a natural disaster, not at all. If you're putting... But always remember while you're setting up your beehive, another beekeeper's raising queens, making nukes or packages, feeding, watching blooms, and waiting for brood to hatch and colonies to grow. And your distributor is going to have to wait for good weather so that they can bring their bees back safely and quickly. The big take home is be patient and be flexible. If your schedule is so tight that you can't pick up bees when they arrive, it's probably a pretty good indication that you may not have time to take care of your bees at all. The bees are not going to accommodate your schedule. To review our talk on purchasing bees, first, the best place to get bees is through your local bee club. If you can't get involved with the local bee club, check the ads on your local trade magazine or even online listing. Second, make sure you know exactly what you're paying for, the size of the nuker package and the information on the queen. Third, get two to three colonies to start. And lastly, go local if you can, but really don't overthink it. Hopefully this is the one and only time you're purchasing bees. You have a lifetime of keeping bees to optimize and select queens. Most people who are selling bees are gonna provide you with a good product.